Hi, my name is uh, George Dagnino. I'm the publisher of the Peter Dac portfolio since 1977. This is a series of presentations to show you how I develop investment strategies using the forces that drive the business cycle. In, in this presentation, I'm looking at a set of indicators called the leading indicators because they tell you what is really going to happen to the business cycle. This uh, chart shows the pattern of growth of the economy during a complete business cycle. This is the time when the economy grows above potential, it is above the long-term average. This is very strong. This is a time when excesses are coming up like rising commodities, inflation, uh, cost. Of course, these excesses then they correct themselves, uh, they cause a slowdown, and then the economy slows until the excesses are really, I'd say, taken care of, which means they start declining, like interest rates, inflation, the uh, profits start improving, the economy start all over again, and start building, income increases, popula uh, employment increases, and the business cycle starts all over again. The, the leading indicators that we're going to talk to, uh, today, they give us an idea of what is the growth. They're going to tell us if the economy is likely to slow down or if the economy is like, likely to pick up steam. So this is the, the, the purpose of the next several charts. The simplest uh, leading indicators are orders for durable goods. Uh, the reason are for durable goods because they they change rapidly so it's easier to read. Housing starts and building permits. This is a very important leading indicator of the economy. The weekly hours worked is also uh, an important in the self-explanatory what it is. The yield curve is the difference between interest rates it is a difference between long-term interest rates on treasury bonds and the three months uh, rate on treasury bills. So the, the, the curve is, one says is steep when this difference is high and it says flat when the difference is very slow. Another important leading indicator is stock prices and because stocks depend on liquidity. If liquidity improves, stocks rise, and therefore the economy is likely to improve. If the liquidity starts decreasing, then stock prices stand, start decline, and therefore it's likely that the economy will weaken. Okay, now what we're going to do next is to review the charts of this leading indicator so you see really what is really happening. Thank you for visiting and thank you for reviewing uh, this short presentation. I wanted to give you an idea of what the, the main leading indicators are and how they can be used. To have a full uh, analysis of uh, this important gauges of the U.S. economy, please go to www.peterdag.com where there, you will find a complete presentation discussing in great details the action of these important gauges. Thank you for visiting and I hope to see you really soon. So long.